Hello. It's August 7, 2019, a Wednesday. Welcome to our stock market insights for tonight. And some of you have already shared uh, the stocks you would like us to review. And let me just do a quick rundown of the stocks, okay? Well, it's a lot, but we would like to start with Fan, BPI, Meg, MBT, First PH Holdings, Tugs, ABBA, JFC, BHI, uh, ISM, SMPH, PPG, Vita, APX, AP, PXP, PX, uh, Meralco, RLC, CHP, AC, Ali, MPI, OVI, Nickel, GT Cap, Prim, SM, HLS, HLCM. So, so far, these are the stocks that have initially been requested. And uh, let us start with Fen. Okay. Good evening, guys. Uh, Please uh, drop a comment if uh, your stock has not yet been mentioned, and hopefully we can finish reviewing all of them. Okay, so let us start. Let's start with Fan. Okay, for Fan. So let us first, by the way, I am using Investigrams. This is a free tool that you can use. You can also download this in uh, your uh, mobile and um, have, you know, uh, an easy access to the movement of your stocks wherever you go. And uh, I am currently in the charts section and uh, once you are already in investigrams you just have to click this part and it will show you the different uh, options or sections of this tool and just click chart and it will bring you to this page right away okay and uh, you will see several icons on the left side and um, as well as on the right side and uh, by default, it brings you to PSEI or the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. But for now, the let's get down to business. Let's talk about FEN and uh, let us open first our indicators. I use Bollinger Bands. I don't uh, make a lot of uh, um, changes in the settings. I just use the default. And let's also use RSI. Okay. Let's say good evening to Maria. Hello, MJ. Virgo, Marco Juan. Virgo, uh, C. Bustira, Marlon. Okay. Hello, Marco. Okay. So I will first try to finish all of the requested stocks because I posted a comment earlier or a post earlier and uh, let's prioritize them and definitely I'll also include yours. So, so far what I can see here is that uh, Seb is not yet on my list as well as Pure Gold. Okay, John, hello. Good evening. Okay, let's start. Uh, what I can see for fans, so using the Bollinger Band, uh, we are now at the, um, we are above uh, the MA20 line, but we are nearing the resistance for our um, fan here. So if I am to draw the line, I see the resistance right here. Okay. And the reason why I did that is because look at this part three times this area was hit so this is the first instance second and the third okay now uh 
on the middle section, the red line that you see in, in the Bollinger Band, that is the MA20 line. So once the price crosses over the MA20 line, so that's a good that's a good indicator that the stock is in an upward trend. However, we are also nearing a resistance, and the resistance is at the same time the profit taking area. So a lot of um, the traders are taking profit that means it's not recommended that you enter in this area that we are in right now because uh, you only have very uh, you know the possible uh, profit that you can take here is just 4.58 percent so if I were you you wait for it to uh, bounce meaning if it hits resistance definitely it might retrace again so wait for it near the ma20 line okay so around this area is the next possible um, area of bounds so try to haggle near 2.53 area okay next is bpi bpi Okay, BPI did a big move today. So at one point it even reached a 6.67% uh, increase from the previous day or from uh, the opening price and it ended around 5.45% uh, uh, from uh, the start price. Now what I can say here is whenever we have something like this, normally it rests the next day so it's it's seldom or it, uh, seldom does it happen where you will have something like this like what happened the previous uh, days where it rallied um, uh, upward in one two three four five six six consecutive days so if you have the chance of course some will definitely take profit with this kind of movement. Um, people might take profit and then try to haggle again, as always, near MA20 line. If we, if we cannot really enter right at the 90-91 peso area here, maybe... the most ideal... Um, if you if you will not have the chance to enter there, the most ideal uh, line or next would be around here. Okay, so try to haggle between 88.91 to 91.41. Just definitely tomorrow, if it will uh, move uh, further up, there will really be a time that it will uh, retrace for a little bit in a, a much uh, faster time frame like let's say 15 minutes to just adjust your time frame to 5 or 15 minute time frame and see which um, area you can uh, potentially enter but ideally of course uh, we want to uh, get uh, enter in the stock near the MA20 line now <clears throat> The, another reason why I said that it will potentially retrace or rest for a little bit is because of this. Price is moving up, but RSI is showing a downward direction. Okay, that means the, the, the momentum is slowly dying down. So it might potentially rest. Next is MEG. <clears throat> Let's see the weekly time frame for Meg. Okay. Normally, if uh, you are a position trader, you would look at the daily time frame as well as um, the weekly time frame. Some people would also look at the monthly time frame because it gives you a uh, a better view of the real direction of a stock. Sometimes you, you will think that it, in the next few days, or let's say tomorrow, it will um, go on, on an upward direction, but the next day it will uh, decline because overall in a weekly chart, 
it's showing you otherwise, right? For example, let's see. This one, in a weekly time frame, the bounce area is showing us around here. Okay, so let us see. It's around 5.88. Let us see if it also gives us the same story in the daily. See, um, yep. This is the support area. The bounce area in the weekly chart is the support, is showing us a confirmation that it is a support area in the daily chart because it got hit once, twice, okay, several times in this area. So we have a strong support here. And now I can say that this stock has already bounced, okay? And also look at the direction of MA20 here it is somehow po pointing upwards. So there's a big chance that this will continue to rally on the upside, okay? So for those of you who entered around 5.88, good job to you guys. The next possible area that the, the, this stock will test is the MA20, okay? So take note when the price is below the MA20 line, the MA20 line will act as a possible resistance. So uh, let's hope that it crosses beyond the MA20 line so it will confirm the continuous uptrend of this stock. Next is MBT. MBT has also shown a bounce in this area. One, two, three. Same area, got hit three times. That will serve as your support. And we're, how far are we from the support? So you are still at a low risk position. Okay, so if you're interested in this stock, number one, it's Metro Bank, a very established company. Number two, you are at a low risk position, so it's a good time to enter in this stock. Now, another clue is, of course, this is showing us a um, same bounce area, right? We have a support here. And look at the behavior of our RSI. So you draw a straight line here. And... Hold on. The RSI is moving. Oops. Let me just change that. RSI is giving us a an upward direction. Okay, did you see that? There you go. Straight line. Now RSI is moving up. Okay. First pH. What's the code of first pH holdings? FPH. First fucking holdings. Okay. This is it probably. So let's check out this stock. By the way, how are you guys? Let's say hi to Jasper, John. Thank you, John. Dan, Hector, Benji, uh, Sally, Julie, Alex, Irvin. Okay, so let's continue. The rest, um, I'll say hi to you in a bit. Let us see, this talk showed us a doji. This is a doji, looks like it's a doji, okay? It created a support in this area, okay? It got hit one, two, three times, okay? This one, when you see this, that means people wanted to sell more 
I mean, we wanted to sell the position, but before the market ended or at the, um, yeah, when the market closed, um, the buyer started. The buyers uh, started to dominate the price, and uh, more people are buying it. So that's why it opened here. Most of the actions happened um, downward, but buyers uh, dominated eventually. Okay. So let us see. Okay. I would have to say that I, if I am to enter in this stock, I will have to wait for another green candlestick. Uh, I'm seeing that tomorrow it might again uh, start at the same price, but hopefully, okay, hopefully this will uh, give us another uh, green candlestick. Once you you see that, then that's now a good um, time to enter in this stock. Let's try to see the weekly time frame. Okay, on a weekly uh, chart, the next possible bounce is here so still very um unstable for this stock uh, we might have some uh, some more ac uh, actions uh, on a downward trend in the next few days just possible okay i'm not saying that it will uh, really be going to it will have that kind of movement but this is the beauty of uh, expanding your your query or your your outlook on a weekly uh, chart because it gives you a real picture. It's like right now, if I change it to a daily view, it could easily uh, sometimes mislead you saying that, okay, tomorrow it can potentially uh, bounce back up, but in reality, it's just going to be a temporary movement because on a weekly chart, the real picture is that it can potentially go further down, okay? Probably tomorrow it will um, increase, but to the next day it could potentially dip further. So if you want to enter, my recommended price is around 82.50 or 82.57 to be exact here because I see uh, two candlesticks landing on the same area or uh, hitting a resistance in this area so in an upward in a in a bullish direction or in an upward uh, trend meaning uh, your previous resistance will act now as your possible support okay so possible in 84 let's remove this other one 82.57 is your next possible area of support. Okay. Tugs. Tugs. Still moving downward. Okay. I'm thinking this will still continue to go downward. Right? See, I still don't trust this, even if this is green. Okay. Okay. I still don't trust it because let's just wait for another candlestick because here on the weekly chart it can still decline okay what I am looking at is if a price goes down and if this RSI is already giving us a an opposite direction okay so what um, I'm expecting here is it should give me an upward direction in RSI but on a weekly chart still on a downward direction so it might continue to go further down possibly in this area okay 1.54 let's see what the movement is around 1.54 Okay, because uh, if you transfer to the daily chart, it could just be a temporary. Because notice, in this, in these during these days, technically it's a downward trend. But there are days that you show green candlestick, but it did not influence the movement. It still followed the overall direction. So this is a daily chart. So sometimes you'll see a green candlestick, but uh, it can deceive you or it can uh, mislead uh, you in, in your decision. So 
check out the weekly time frame. It gives you a better picture. Okay. Uh, Togs Abba. Abba is okay. If you can haggle again around this area, please do so because it might continue to uh, go further down. See what happens at at point seventy six. If it bounces in that area, then good. We still have a continuous uptrend for this stock. Okay. Next. Let's see how it looks like in the daily chart. Yep. Same conviction. Might go further down. JFC. JFC. Okay. Wow. Let's try to look at the weekly chart. For JFC, so what's interesting is that, you know, in, in Investagrams, you will see the social media side of, of this tool. And a lot of people are asking why JFC has declined. Also, a lot of you guys have also inquired uh, uh, what happened to JFC. And... Uh, they made some acquisitions this year and uh, some, was it Smash Burger? What is that? Smash. They made some, some acquisitions and some of those companies really uh, were struggling before they, they did the acquisition. So technically the cash flow of JFC, um, of course, got, got impacted. Uh, they had a lot of cash out because of these acquisitions. But if you believe in the foundations of uh, JFC, if you believe in how they run the business, this is an area or this is the best opportunity for you guys to get in because it has been a long time since JFC hit this, this price. The last time this the last time JFC had this price was back in 2017. Okay, 2017. So if you are in it for long term, this is a good opportunity. Price is going down, but RSI is already going up. Do you see that? Okay. Next. So just be a little patient. This is the best time to accumulate. BHI. BHI. Okay, I'm not very familiar with this stock. And the um, price per share is 0 0.06 or 6 cents per share. Now, technically, looking at the chart, we have already bounced. Okay, we have bounced in this area. So if you want to enter, just, you know, give it a try. If you are curious about this stock, you're already uh, at a low risk position because you are near a support. So if uh, you Whoever uh, inquired about BHI, I hope you were able to enter at a low price. Um, hopefully not in this area. Otherwise, you are already on a negative by 14.68%. Okay. Uh, again, just a reminder, always... Remind, okay, very redundant. Remind yourself of the objective, your objective, why you are entering in a stock. If you are in it as a long-term investor, these declines, even if it's a 14.54% negative, your mindset is 
should say you it is time for you to accumulate okay some people panic and sell their their position when they have this this negative uh port or let's say they're down by 14.54 unless you sell the stock it's just a paper loss okay that is for an investor because you don't really mind you don't have any plans of selling your your shares anytime soon okay your outlook is like three to five or even ten years ahead so you don't mind these noise okay but if you are a trader your goal is to uh, make profit several gains in a short span of time okay so if if you are negative by 14.54% and you have no guarantees that uh, this stock will bounce back up right away, okay? So you already lost some time, okay? You wouldn't know if uh, it will bounce back in the next two days. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it will bounce back up months after, okay? Or sometimes even years. So the difference is there, there's really a big difference between a trader and an investor mindset. Next, it's ISM. Okay, ISM. ISM. Wow. I hope we have already reached the bottom for ISM, but I don't think so. RSI is not giving us any good message yet bouncing just bouncing on the same area and it's on a continuous decline so it's not yet the end of the decline for um, ism let's see how it looks like in the weekly chart oh ism i'm thinking for ism this is the Oops, what is happening? Horizontal line. There. Let's see how, how uh, the market moves around this area. Okay, 4.81. So don't get in yet. Okay, if you have already entered in this stock, I, I'm assuming uh, you're a long-term investor because this is uh, related to the third telco, the SMPH. For SMPH, we already have a bounce. Let us see, look at this, downward direction, but RSI is showing us an upward direction. You want to see that? Look at this section. It hits this area. And the second time and third time it hits the, the bottom, it's slightly higher than the previous one. Okay, But the price action is showing us on a downward trend. So we already have a good bounce for SMPH. And uh, another thing that will uh, make your conviction stronger is the fact that this is SM. Okay, SM Prime Holdings. Next is uh, PPG. PPG. Okay. Interesting because we're nearing the um, uh, MA20 line. And uh, again, MA20 line is a bounce area. So hopefully tomorrow if this stock gives us another green candlestick, then uh, you are at a good uh price to enter so we are near the ma20 line an area of bounce hopefully the uptrend uh, still continues next is vita vita same with vita it has bounced at the ma20 area Okay, it has bounced at the MA20 area, so 
if you're interested in this stock, we are still at a very cheap price. Let's look at it in a weekly chart. Still at the, uh, oh no. Not yet a good sign in a weekly time frame because this is the MA20 line, okay? So the condition is, okay, if you're interested in this stock, the condition is, let us see if the price starts around um, this area, okay, which is slightly above, slightly above the MA20 line, then you are in a good position, okay. this might just give you a temporary a temporary bounce and it might not sustain okay so if if you're really interested in this make sure you haggle near 1.29 and treat this area okay treat 1.39 as your okay let's do this let's treat 1.40 as your resistance but enter this stock if it gives you a chance at 1.28 okay because your uh, possible in fact this is just range trading your possible gain here is only a maximum of nine percent if you follow the recommended 1.28 as an entry price and 1.40 as the exit price because we are still not very stable for this stock as you see in a weekly chart, it this area is an area uh, of resistance. A resistance is formed at this area. So just be extra careful with Vita. APX. APX. Wow. maybe so this is on a weekly chart okay you have a resistance in that area you're near the resistance but overall this stock is meant to go further down and let's just wait at ma20 1.22 and let's see if if that price is not broken meaning the price doesn't go further down then um, you are at a good entry price so the condition is it must bounce at the ma20 area because right now you have um, reached a resistance and it's going backwards i mean it's going downwards it's re it's retracing okay it re it's retracing and then it might go bounce and then back up again. Okay, entry price 1.22 and the resistance is 1.31. APX, uh, Miralco, of course, Miralco, very stable company. Let us see what happens. There is a cash dividend release or a scheduled release on uh, September 20 and X date is August 22 so if you're interested in this stock take advantage of it because you are near the support if this will still go further down the next support is at around 30 355.84 so wait for your opportunity okay because there's a possibility it might go further down, it will give you a chance to enter around 355 area before it bounces back up again. Because as you see, this has a scheduled uh, cash dividend release. And next would be RLC. RLC. RLC might continue to go down, okay? It is going to rest for a while. It has been on an upward direction since May. 
but it consolidated, okay, actually around during these days and then made uh, some um, bullish uh, direction and then rested. It might still continue to go downwards, okay? Wait for, for um, the confirmation around this area. This is an oversold area. So right now we have not reached that yet in our RSI. So wait for it to reach this area before you observe what the price action is. CHP. CHP, I think this year is for CHP. You know why? CHP has been on a decline since 2017. Then all the way down for several years, two years. And now, take note, I am in a, a monthly chart. It's slowly recovering from, from the very uh, bearish years before uh, 2019. So if you'd like to get in as a long-term investor, this is the perfect time for you. But let's see if you can still haggle for a much lower price. Possible support is again in the MA20 line around 2.87. If that area of support is not broken, then we can see a possible bounce and it will continue to rally upwards. Otherwise, your next possible entry price, wait for it to reach around 2.60. Next, AC. AC. Okay, so this is what we call an engulfing a candle. Okay, it's taller and bigger than the previous candle. So the body of the previous candle is uh, smaller than uh, the current candle. And this one is what we call a hammer. We talked about that the, the previous day. And a hammer could also mean a sign of reversal. And indeed, it was followed by an engulfing candle. So we are in a good position because this stock has already bounced. And this is Ayala. Ayala, of course, is another established com company included in the, the index, okay? Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So go ahead, have no fear for uh, AC. You're in a good position. Ali, we also have a bounce for Ali. Another example of um, a hammer. And uh, if you want, you can wait for another candlestick, green candlestick, because you are still at a low risk position. Okay, just wait for another candlestick. Hopefully, the the price starts up, uh, above 48.50 and uh, you should be good. <clears throat> and you're also near the oversold area. So you should be good for that. Hold on. MPI. Same. Okay. So what's interesting is that um, all these stocks that you have just mentioned, they're all part of the index. Okay, we have a good bounce for MPI. So it will um, continue. Hopefully, it will continue to move upward in the coming days. And try to haggle near 4.63. Uh, 4 okay. Let's just check the index. Notice we have almost the same um, pattern in the stock exchange index. AC, Ali, MPI showed the same um, pattern in the past two days. They're all part of the index. OVI. Um, 
O N I. I think I'll skip that again. I made I probably made a mistake writing this down. So let's check nickel. Okay. We have a, an area of support here. If you want to enter, enter uh, at around 250 area. And if you're in it as a trader, make sure you set your stop loss um, based on your, of course, how much are you willing to risk. So if, if I were to put a stop loss, I would normally put it at 3 to 5%. Okay, but enter in this stock, you are already at a good area, uh, provided it does not break the MA20 line. So 250 and above, good. But uh, if it goes lower than that, then just cut your losses. Enter at 250 area. GT cap. <clears throat> okay, another good company. It bounced, so yes. We are recovering after uh, a few days of uh, red, right? We normally get influenced by the movement in the international market. When uh, the international market is down, tendency is we are also affected. And um, yep, we are recovering back to normal, hopefully. And uh, you are at a good uh, price at a discounted price right now. So if you can, let's say, haggle around this area, enter around 898.32, you're still at a good position because, um, you know, this stock is meant to move up in the coming days. Prim. Prim is forming a support in this area. Okay. If you want to enter in this stock, just give it a try. Set your stop loss. If your platform does not have the <clears throat> a feature to automatically cut your losses, make sure you watch the market. If you are in it as a trader, but you if you cannot, then face the fact you are meant to be an investor. Okay, so. This is now an area of support. Give it a try. You can do test buy if you like. And then <clears throat> um, this stock will potentially bounce anytime soon. SM. SM, same behavior, uh, part of the index. It has also bounced but made uh, some uh, massive movement uh, in just one day. So I'm thinking some people might take profit, and if you have the chance, enter around this area. If not, uh, wait for a confirmation that this stock crosses over the MA20 line, this area. Okay, so uh, we can say that this stock it will continue to uh, move upward. But overall, it's SM. Don't be scared. You are at a good uh, price level. If you want to enter, enter near 967. HLCM. Oh, this stock is undecided yet. Okay. I would suggest, okay. There you go. If this stock starts at 14.13 area or starts above 14.13 and most action happens up here, then uh, we can say that this has already bounced and move will continue to move upward. Okay, we'll be in an uptrend. Let's see how it looks like in a weekly chart. <coughs> Yep, same thing. Wait for it to start uh, above 14.13 and it will confirm the uptrend. Okay, let's continue. 
Hi, Yel. Hi, Ella. Ron. Joanna. Uh, Alco. Okay. Alco. Let's look at Alco from Nico. Hold on. Let me start with uh, Seb first. And this is from Marlon. Seb. Wow. I think this has confirmed an area of support. This is an area of support. Um, yep. You can give it a try. It, it hit this uh, price once, twice, thrice. Okay. So... That's a good entry price around 89.44. The next one is pure gold, P gold. Let me just write it down. Okay, Seb and P gold. Let's wait for a green candlestick. Hopefully, uh, tomorrow. This gives us a green candlestick to confirm uh, the support in this area, okay? If not, the risk here is that it might go further down, okay? So this is your area of support, 43.75. It has been um, on a consolidation, okay, meaning you're just within the same range for the past. See, moving just in this direction in the past how many months? Okay. Let's see what happens around 43.75. MBT, I think I already talked about that, Marlon. We can just... Uh, Play the video again if you like. Uh, and hi to all the Filipinos in Dubai. ISM, I also talked about it. LTG, did I? Okay, let's check LTG for Dan. LTG, oops. Okay, another... Um, good position right now okay this i think is a good uh, area of support you have the same um landing price here around 14.11 it stopped at the same area but your rsi is now giving us a, an upward direction so uh, good, <clears throat> you're just, uh, let us see, you just, yeah, 1.9 or 2, 2% away from support. But if you have the chance to haggle and uh, enter around 14.11, 14.12, then good for you because you can make the most out of your uh, trade. Did I talk about FA? PHA. Okay, I have not talked about PHA. Benji, this is for you. PHA. Okay. Hopefully, this, <laughs> this is not a, a minor resistance. Now, the condition is, maybe you can even set the... A condition that price must start at one at point seventy to confirm a, a reversal. Okay, because this might act as a minor resistance and continue to go downwards. So I'm not very convinced yet okay because look another reason why i'm not very convinced that this is going to be a sign of reversal now is because of this 
no volume. Okay. Oops. There's no volume for this talk. Oh, see that? No volume. Okay. So let's wait for another green candlestick for, for PHA before we enter. The next one is MRSGI for Dewey. MRSGI. And I'm just writing the stocks we've reviewed for today, page A and MRSGI. MRSGI, same movement as uh, what we have with the other blue chip companies. good uh, uh, earnings this Q2. If you can haggle near this area, then good. Because right now we are already 5.23% away from the support. Okay. So it might uh, retrace for a bit. And uh, if you can haggle near uh, 2.46, good. Let's enter around that area. Next one. Let's talk about, this is for Irvin. Let's talk about, did I talk about PIP? Not yet. Okay, let's talk about PIP and uh, web. PIP, oops, we're at risk, this is the MA20 line and it, it has ended slightly below that, so let's see if tomorrow it gives us a, a green candlestick that will uh, then confirm the bounce, otherwise this, if this continue to give us another red uh, day tomorrow, then uh, potentially uh, this might retrace further downwards. And it's already the next possible area of support is this one. Okay. So if this is broken, next area to watch out for is 1.65. It go if it breaks 1.65, I think the next, I think the next area to watch out for is 1.34. Okay, and uh, next is web. Web is okay. this is not yet a confirmed reversal okay because we are still outside uh, the bollinger band look this is the uh, lower bollinger band and we're still outside so there's a big chance that it might go further down okay okay just stay away from uh, stay away from this stock for a while it might go further down Thank you, Carlos. Carlos said, this is great. Yep, I'd love to share my um, insights. And um, hopefully I, I am helping you guys. And uh, every day, if you just do this, um, if you do this study daily, eventually you'll understand the movement of these candlesticks and it will give you good story. All these things, for, you know, it, it seems like these are just sticks, candlesticks, but um, after a while, it, you will see patterns. And uh, hopefully in the next sessions, I can teach you some, some more patterns. Uh, I just need to just find time and create a good material so I can uh, talk about the different types of patterns. 
as well as in the indicators. But for now, because there are so many um, activities happening in the office, I the best that I can do is just you know do live uh, for now. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Nico, Nico said Alco and FLI. Alco. Alco, we have a good bounce at uh, this area. Okay. If you know support and resistance, guys, these are very powerful indicators. Just knowing where the ceiling or the resistance is and knowing where the floor or the support is. Okay. So this is a support because it reached the same area several for several days one two three four five okay it hit the same area so we now have a solid support in this and if you can okay i'm sure tomorrow the price will move up and down and at one point if you can um, haggle and if you want to enter in this stock enter near 1.97 no, sorry, 0.97, near 0 0.97. I'm thinking it will even give you around one there. That's already a good uh, entry price. But just try to, uh, you know, wait for it to retrace for a little bit. Next one. Uh, hi, Ella. I already said hi to y'all. Very good job. Thank you, Vishnu. Uh, let me see. Oh, I talked about Ali, SMPH, HLCM, Dan. I hope you were able to hear uh, our insights. Uh, otherwise, um, you may replay this. A fan, I think that is the very first stock I talked about. Uh, Dave, yep. I I talked about uh, Fen, CHP also done, CHP Alco, yep, there you go, Benjo, John John Levy, uh, Enrico, Meg, I also talked, that's the third stock we talked about today, Ali HLCM done as well, what is the ideal price to buy GFC, should I wait for, for it to drop at 224, let us see if we if it will give us a chance <laughs> at 224. Let's look at it. For, you know, long-term investors look at it around monthly, weekly. Okay? They don't look at the daily charts. 224, there is a big chance. Yeah. But it might happen in the next few weeks or months because I'm now in the monthly uh, chart. It might even, okay, so we're not yet near the oversold area. It might, okay, might even give us a chance around 1.95 in the monthly time frame. So for it to drop, well, the last time it hit this price, it was back in 2017. <clears throat> 2018 and 2019, two years of uh, bull run, okay? An upward trend is also uh, called the, the bull run for two years. And now it is giving us a chance uh, because it is uh, currently resting. Let's see if it reach 195. But uh, my my projection is it might in the coming months. Okay, not tomorrow, not next week, but uh, slow movement. It will rest, and the next possible support is around 195. It yes. So Darrenson, I have a feeling it will reach as low as 224 or even lower than that dmci dmci okay 
daily chart for DMCI. What is happening? DMC. Okay, you're also in a Let's wait for it to um, end around 9.72, which is very close to the current price right now. Because I have a feeling it might um, go further down in the coming days. Because we are not yet totally inside. Okay. Barely in the uh, Bollinger Band, lower Bollinger Band. And, uh, yep, so I have a feeling the next area of support, it will challenge 9.72. So if you have the chance, you can even uh, do a test buy around that area. But uh, DMCI, DMCI is a very good company, very uh, established uh, uh, real estate company here in the Philippines, particularly in the Manila area. They have good condos, always, you know, uh, it sells like a pancake. Okay. Great, great amenities in their condos. Uh, so enter around 9.72. It's already very cheap at that price. So if you're in it as a long-term investor, you won't really mind. 9.87 is already a good price. Yep. See that? In a weekly time frame, it will potentially challenge this price, 9.72. Okay. Fan, I already talked about it. Ezekiel, Lemuel, same for SMPH. Uh, John, I talked about ABBA, TAGS, BHI, and JFC. Yep. Bucket will not rewind. Oh, John, we're not yet um, able to do that because we're currently doing live. So when I end the live video, that means uh, you should be able to access it, access it again and uh, play it uh, multiple times. Okay. Jenny, uh, thank you, ma'am. More blessings, Paul. I'm happy to uh, share what I know. I'm still a work in progress. That's why sometimes you would hear me, you know, pause their pauses in between my my analysis because we're all a work in progress here. So I'm trying to hone my skill in analyzing charts on the spot. Okay, so. Let me know if my uh, for, forecast and my insights are, are, are accurate. Uh, I know some of them, majority of them are accurate because I look back, I try to uh, replay these videos myself each time the market is over and I cross-reference. And that's how, you know, we gain learning. So we go back to our previous analysis and then if it's correct, then good job and then course do the same thing over and over that's how you gain your skill how you uh, build your skill okay so join me join me every night let's do this together we learn together ICT let me check Mervin if I was able to check ICT uh, oh not yet so this one's for you ICT Okay, good bounce. Good bounce for ICT. Okay. So if you can, um, haggle 124, 120, yeah, around 124 area, you're already good. But definitely, um, we have an engulfing candle here, candlestick, bigger than the previous day's candlestick. That means it's a, a good sign that this stock is now going to reverse back up. And then Bloom, let me just write it down because after this live, I am going to, of course, uh, write all the stocks that we have reviewed. So those people who were not able to listen and watch today, they can just rewind and uh, play the video again. Uh, did I, so I will now check Bloom. 
Bloom is giving us uh, a not so good sign. Okay, so one, two, three, four. This price was hit four times in the past, five, six, seven times, okay, in the past three days, four plus three. Now, it's forming a support. But if tomorrow that support is broken and the price goes lower than that, then not a very good sign. This stock might go further down. But tomorrow, if it starts at 120 or higher and if it gives us a green candlestick, then that would mean the support is confirmed and it might potentially go back up again. Okay. So that's it, Mervin. CHP, we talked about that. Uh, Enrico, Jerry, let's see T. For T, yes. Looks like this stock is starting to become bullish once again. But <clears throat> very dramatic movement here. Wow, 15, it even reached 17%. I hope you did not enter at around 1.23 or, or else this is what you call a bit, meaning instant instant uh, investor. <coughs> but um, hopefully, uh, you know, MA20 is uh, a resistance, okay? This is a, an area of resistance, a resistance area if a stock is in a downward trend. So our sign here, so by the way, um, I feel bad if, you know, most, just, I've been in that situation before when, you know, I, I got FOMO, fear of missing out. I entered in a stock when it's really high, so it's not a very good experience. Uh, but if you have, of course, if you have the chance, you can accumulate around the, the support area, around this area, if it gives us another chance around that area, <clears throat> just accumulate so that your uh, average price for this particular stock is going to be lowered down. And when it goes back up again, it's, you, uh, it's faster to get out of the trade or, you know, uh, do a break even at least uh, for this stock but the um, challenge here is that tomorrow this stock should start above or should um, yeah open higher than 1.14 or it should open above ma20 which is this area to um, ensure or to confirm that the stock is still in an upward trend Okay. Otherwise, this might act as a resistance and might dip further. Uh, but uh, one thing to take note of, 1.05 is your possible area of support. I'm glad to be of help, RL. You're welcome, Irvin. Vita, um, Vita, I talked about it. Uh, you can, I hope you were able to hear it, Nico. DNL. DNL, let's see. <clears throat> wow. Man. Why did you do this to us, DNL? This is a 6.81 drop. Okay. Stay away from DNL. This might go further down. But I'm hoping it's not going to be, it's not going to dwell in this price for a long time because we are already in the oversold area. Okay, so <clears throat> it might consolidate, go sideways. Uh, probably when I say consolidate, it will just move within the range, making, making a sideways movement before it goes back up. So... Uh, observe this stock 
and don't don't be too aggressive in this talk yet okay um i hope you were able to hear that mary uh venjo for vul um vnl vul let's check vul <clears throat> Okay, hopefully this area of support is sustained. Okay, if it does not break that area, then we might see a possible reversal anytime soon. 1.16 is an area to watch out for. VUL. Okay, so let me greet my friend, Rai. Hello, Chi. Thanks for always um, joining me in my live. I hope you're also learning. Jess, you're welcome. Uh, Sec B from <clears throat> Marco. Sec B. Wow. Mm hmm. Very good uh, Q2 earnings for SecB. Do you have any news uh, for SecB? Guys, I'm just looking at these charts or, or these stocks. Uh, and uh, I'm just basing everything on the chart. But feel free to share uh, what you know about uh, a certain stock if you have any news around it. <coughs> so... Um, maybe set me in fact there is a section here but i just didn't have the time to watch or to read so i'm thinking it's because of a very good uh q2 earnings that drove the their dramatic movement in today's uh, price for sec b so just wait for it to rest for a bit but I'm thinking this will continue to move in an upward trend. It is giving us the support in this area. Okay. So hopefully this continues to go upward. But if you have the chance, haggle a little bit in between 172 and the current price. That should already be a good price. Okay, all right. So I think I will not be able to finish everything. Um, time now is 10.43 and uh, Jasper, Venjo, Evie, I'll try to answer your, your requests offline, okay? But in the meantime, uh, that is it for tonight. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've learned a lot today, guys. And uh, yeah, just be active uh, in our page because that really inspires me to do more content and to do more live every day. And uh, yeah, let's grow this. Please share uh, our page to your friends and let's learn together. Okay. Thank you. Good night, and you have a great week. Bye-bye.